on a scale of one to ten, how happy are you that you drew FlyQuest? <laughs> Honestly, I I'm not that happy. Really? Like, I said it in an interview before. Yeah. I said I really want us to not meet each other. Like I would be happy with anyone else. Even Bioji was okay. Like, oh. kind of happy that we didn't meet them, but it'd be a lot cooler if we met any other team and then both of us have a chance to get out because everyone would be watching those games. Yeah. And if one of us makes it out, it's like way more hype as well. Hey guys, this is Ashley King of Horizon Esports and I'm joined by Jan, the bot Hello. laner of Team Liquid Honda. Team Liquid Honda? <laughs> Team Liquid Honda, yeah, thank you Honda. As they do defeat Cam and progress to the final, final, final round of 2024 World Championship Swiss stage. Jan, hey. Hello. <laughs> hey, congratulations on their 2-1 victory. How are you feeling right now? Thank you. I'm feeling good, tired, um, excited for our next match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start with this. What happened between game one and game two, three? Because you guys look like a completely different team between those two. Game one, yeah. it was like a complete... The worst thing could possibly happen ever. And then we played bad. Like I just think we like didn't play according to how we messed up. Mm -hmm. I think we snowballed it way too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that we had some chances to come back in the game as well, but we didn't prioritize on those moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We just didn't play well, I yeah. think. The start was very bad, but we just yeah. we just went into the next same thing. Yeah. Can't be worse than that. Uh, is it almost like, okay, there was a game plan, there was uh, some issues at the beginning, but you guys stuck to the game plan without adjusting it? Almost like that? Uh, a little bit, but not really. I think we were just like, maybe we're like, oh, we messed up so hard. We have to like maybe do something. And then I think we didn't react properly to it. Mm. And in the second game and third game, I often see players picking their comfort champion when it comes to elimination matches. Mm -hmm. And I did see KoJJ go on his Rakan. You know, he does have a well skin on the champion after all. And it just felt like a lot of Team Luka players did play their like signature champions. Can mm -hmm. you tell me more about this? Um, the only time I like asked for a pick was because it was maybe the second game. Oh. I really thought like Kaisa was fitting the t theme of the game. Mm. And especially since they banned it the first game, I'm like, they must really not want to play against it. So I just picked it. Yeah. And then the Rakan, I think Korg is confident to play any champion. Mm -hmm. And maybe it just thought it was good in the game. Mm -hmm. I actually talked to Corey after the previous game and he was saying that, okay, Jan is an amazing player. Sometimes I feel like something is holding him down, but it felt like sometime during the series, he was unleashed and he was like popping off. And I guess we're also referring to your Ezreal games. What do you think about your cool statement? Uh, to be honest, I have to watch the game again because yeah, I felt yeah. a little oh, weird. Know. Yeah, oh, really? I something felt weird, so I have to rewatch the game. So oh, wow. I just have to rewatch it. I yeah. do think that Ezreal is one of my high tier champions. I'm very good at. Uh -huh. So just have to rewatch the games. Okay. I'm always very confident on the champion, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I picked the two games. Oh. I was just wondering if you like in this series or previous series you had like any wow like zen or pop-off moment because sometimes players tell me hey like you know i'm suddenly in the zone and i think i can do well in this stage yeah uh, yeah i think more than that i yeah. think i have a very good position coach who keeps me in check and gives me a lot of like um not motivation but i would say like he makes sure i'm calm and mm -hmm. just do the right thing especially if the thing is required oh. i don't know if you know but mash is my position coach who's can came for this Worlds and was helping me for the playoffs as well. Mm. I know of him, but I unfortunately don't know, no, like yeah. the person you know. I do think that he's helped me a lot and like catches a lot of my mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's helped me a lot in that sense. So I feel very confident whenever I go into a game. Oh, wow. Is there any one pep talk or quote from your positional coach <laughs> that you could possibly share to us? More than anything, I think whenever I make a mistake yeah. and then after the game or like after the match, yeah. he says, so like, let's say I won't be three mid lane, right? And I die in a scrim. It's like, yeah. don't count your numbers. Don't oh. like, as in like as a joke where I should be counting like how many yeah, people are on my screen. It's like, yeah. don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> as just like a joke. Uh -uh. That's like one of the funnier things. I think the best thing that he's helped me with during like matches is just like, you're the, you're one of the best players and you're a very good player. You just have to keep your eye open and keep a cold brain and just think logically about the game. Because I'm going to be really honest with you, and I'm not just making this up. This is what I felt about you in the last two years. That 
I know that you look up to a lot of LCK and you know, LPL players and refer to them on and I do think that you have like a LCK level ceiling, but at the same time, you sometimes overthink in terms of your positioning or like, you know, the way you move, yeah. um, in, especially in the team fights or yes. ice. Almost. I know exactly what you mean. I over, <laughs> That's what I thought of that. So I, <laughs> I overcompensate a lot yeah. and I think MASH has been keeping me down from that. And maybe like I get a little worried because I feel like something's wrong, but he just says, just do the right thing in your head, what you think is right. Yeah. And I think it's helped. Oh, wow. Just keep your eye open. Mm -hmm. Just do what you think is right. Okay, you're on unleashed. Dun, 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 there you go. Uh, speaking of pep talk, I know that this um, pep talk from Small, your head coach, after your last loss, mm -hmm. went pretty viral throughout Twitter and a lot of people were commenting about it. Oh, wow, look at Spawn <coughs> shouting at, you know, Cole JJ saying that he has to grind 700 hours. Like, that is extremely unhealthy. <laughs> but, and then, like, Team Deepquit on that made, like, a funny tweet about it where yeah, you were threatening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, about that, I yeah. think it was very out of context as well because oh. before that, he said, he said something like, we're glad we got the win, but we need to play a lot better because we were individually making very poor mistakes mm -hmm. and the 700 hours is just like a expression kind of yeah. thing where it's just we need to play our champions better at an individual level mm -hmm. we can't be making like simple mistakes on our champions mm -hmm. that we wouldn't make in solo key kind of thing so yeah. we just keep playing and we will get our own like rhythm back a lot of people say that team liquid honda has more almost korea more like you know hard working slash like you know to the clock, um, yes, yes. atmosphere compared to other LCS teams. But <clears throat> how would you describe um, your team's atmosphere in your own words? Since our team atmosphere comes a lot from our like the top, mm -hmm. which is like our leaders, which is like maybe Dodo, Core, and Spawn. Spawn's a very like work hard, do this, do that kind of thing, and he's very he's very Korean like as well. I would say. So we just listen to Spawn. If he's told us to do something, we have to, we should do it, have to do it kind of thing, because we all respect him and we should listen to him. Okay. Different teams have different styles. Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Because I've heard some players off the record actually tell me, <laughs> oh my god, I wish my team had like an atmosphere like Team Luke. <laughs> um, but I it is definitely not for the weak, I will say. <laughs> I think we have a lot of like talks and arguments and clashes, because we are very, more than emotional, I will say, we have our own strong opinions, and I think those are always good things, but if one side doesn't really have that as well, maybe they'll break or something. Mm -hmm. So I think it depends on the personalities and who we choose as players on our team. Mm -hmm. And I think we all fit that category. Mm. Okay, so the five players in the current team Liquid Honda are suited for this kind of like you know, atmosphere. Speaking of atmospheres and NA teams, on a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you that you drew FlyQuest? <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm not that happy. Really? I said it in an interview before. Yeah. I said I really want us to not meet each other. Like, I would be happy with anyone else. Even Vyoji was okay. Like, oh. kind of happy that we didn't meet them, but it'd be a lot cooler, I would think, if we met any other team and then both of us have a chance to get out because everyone would be watching those games. Yeah. And if one of us makes it out, it's like way more hype as well. Mm. And I was talking to APA and he also said that, hey, we, I wanted to draw BLG because if we beat FlyQuest and make it to quarterfinals, we're not gonna like, you know, watch the raw delegations, but if we beat like an Asian team to make it to the quarterfinals, yeah. then hey, we did it in a good way. Yeah. Cause I think beating a, like a very strong team at 2-2 mm -hmm. is way better than, I mean, not really better than, but it's basically the equivalent of beating a team at the quarterfinals yeah. in terms of like, how good we are. So I think even if we beat FlyQuest, maybe we lose it there. So we didn't really care too much. And then we have to play them. If you do go to Paris, you'll be facing one of the stronger teams, mm -hmm. so to speak, that made it to Paris very early on. Anyone that you decided to face? Meeting T1 is always fun. I think I want to play against LNG again. I think they're a very good team. Excited to see them, okay. if I can meet them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think you can beat them? <laughs> it was a close game. Yeah. Maybe. I think T1 is always the most fun. Maybe the biggest viewership. So mm. it'll be fun if we can meet them and play well. So T1 is fun because of the viewership. Or is viewership and everyone's like, we've met, we've met them so many times yeah, throughout yeah, yeah. the entire year, last year, this year. Uh -huh. They're just always hype. They get the esports going. <laughs> um, how would you like to remember this year? Mm. at the end of this journey, whether it be <clears throat> at Berlin or Paris or London? I think I just want to have 
very good showing for our team and individual performance. I think even if we do lose to the, even if we lose to FlyQuest, as long as we played well, I think it shouldn't affect me too much. Mm -hmm. But if we do make it out, I do really want to have a very good showing against one of the other teams that are strong. Mm -hmm. Even if we lose, yeah. I think it'd be very nice to have a good showing. Yeah. Any message to the fans? Hope you guys can cheer one, whoever wins <laughs> FlyQuest versus TL. We'll make sure we have a good showing at quarters. Any message to Masu? Masu? I messaged him right, right after I... I messaged him like 10, 20 minutes ago actually. Okay, okay. What did you say? I can't say it. I can't show it. But let's have a good game. Okay. GG <laughs> here. Good luck, have fun. Yep, good luck, have fun. That sounds good. Thank you for the interview. I Thank appreciate you. it.